Most people don't realize it, but humans were not the first organisms to begin farming. The fungus growing ants of Central and South America have been farming for more than 50 million years. A specific group of fungus growing ants called leaf cutting ants actually cut leaves with their scissors like mandibles and feed the leaf pieces to their fungus garden. The fungus then grows on the leaf substrate and the ants eat the nutrient growth called gonglidia that their fungus crop produces. Cameron Curry, a professor in the bacteriology department at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, studies many aspects of the fungus growing ant system. We are currently studying the fungus growing ant system from uh, several different angles, including uh, using them to study evolution, uh, the, the use of antibiotics in natural systems, as well as uh, issues related to bioenergy. Fungus growing ants live in underground chambers. Consequently, collecting these ants from their natural habitat requires a lot of hard work and sweat. Here you see a researcher digging a hole next to the entrance of a leafcutter ant nest. Each colony has multiple fungus chambers that are connected by underground tunnels that the ants excavate. Here you see a partially uncovered ant garden. In nature, individual ant colonies are so large that the trail of ants bringing leaves back to the nests looks like a river of leaves. In the laboratory, we keep individual colonies in separate boxes. At times, following a collection trip, the Curry Lab maintains up to 60 live colonies concurrently. Because the ants cannot forage on their own while in captivity, researchers collect leaves from outside and feed them to the ants three times a week. When the ants find a new leaf source, or they are fed leaves in the lab, they will swarm to the leaves and begin cutting off smaller pieces in arcs with their scissors-like mouthparts. The ants then carry these leaf cuttings back to their colony. After the smaller pieces of the leaf have been cut from the hole, these smaller pieces are incorporated into the fungus garden. The ants actually chew up the piece of leaf and then take a tuft of white fuzzy fungus and plant it on the new leaf material. The fungus then grows on and uses the leaf substrate as food. Every colony of fungus growing ants has a living queen inside it. If the queen dies, the colony will die. Her large size reflects her important job of laying eggs to keep the colony thriving. Because the queen is so important to the fitness of the colony, the workers will move her deep into the fungus chamber when they sense danger. Ants have specific behaviors, such as weeding, that remove foreign contaminants from their gardens. But the fungus growing ants also harbor beneficial bacteria that produce antibiotics that actually kill the ant garden's most common parasite called Escovopsis. In some species of leaf cutter ants, like this colony of Acro volcanus ants, beneficial bacteria grows all over the bodies of the workers and is easily visible to the naked eye. Our work on fungus growing ants is primarily focused on understanding the process of evolution. We're interested in the role of symbiosis in shaping biodiversity and biocomplexity. Uh, this is really important for un uh, understanding our natural world as symbiosis is a major theme in the history of life. But work like this, um, uh, pure work like this uh, in, in terms of understanding our natural world also has uh, important implications for, for humans in a more direct way. Um, we're looking at the enzymes that are present in this system to break down plant uh, cell, uh, cell walls, plant biomass, uh, uh, to convert uh, into energy for the ants. And we think that these enzymes um, in this system could help us with our own attempts to convert plant biomass into biofuels. We also are interested in uh, a, a discovery of, of new antibiotics and we're working uh, extensively in this area. The ants have been using bacteria for production of antibiotics for millions of years. Uh, so by studying these bac bacteria and their antibiotics, we can discover new uh, potential new drugs for human use. Mm -hmm.